Hey everybody, it's Lisa, the Director of Counseling Services in Start View. Um, welcome to our new Caribbean background. I'm really excited about it. I um, want to talk to you guys a little bit today about self-care. What exactly does that mean? So let's understand why it's really important when we're in recovery. So what happens when you're in active addiction? Your mood is affected, right? by active addiction, your motivation is definitely affected, and most of all, your self-perception of who you are and yourself, I guess you don't really have a lot of self-esteem when you're in active addiction, right? So self-care helps us with all those things when we're in recovery. It gives us kind of a sense of well-being. There's a lot of myths though, right? So what are some of the myths of self-care a lot of people think well I don't really have the money to go to that expensive spa or I don't really have the money to go on that expensive vacation or go get a massage or you know how much time does all this self-care take literally it could take five minutes to 30 minutes depending on what you're willing to dedicate but any of it is going to be helpful no matter how much time you're willing to spend so let me give you some tips about self-care um, there's six easy tips. One of them is eating healthy. Wow, you hear that all the time. So tired of hearing that. But what does that do, right? It keeps your blood sugar level, and that means your mood is stabilized and you're not kind of going up and down, up and down, right? So you'll have improved mood and your energy levels will go up, which is really good. Number two is have fun and relax so have fun and relax so a lot of us started using when we were on a younger age so we haven't really spent a lot of time doing anything except using right if you started using when you were 14 or 15 you probably didn't have time to figure out what exactly that you like doing so now we have to figure it out so it may be a chore for you to try new things but eventually you're going to find one that you really like and that's real important so you have to replace the behavior of using which is what you've liked with something else. So if you need any help with this, you can call me and we can kind of brainstorm together and try to figure out where to start, okay? Um, number three, you wanna get plenty of sleep. Oh, getting sleep is really important. So what happens when we don't get enough sleep, right? You get super cranky, I know I do. Um, your tolerance level is down, which would mean what? Maybe if you had gotten enough sleep and somebody comes along in your pathway, and tries to you know get you to use or go with them to a party maybe if you had enough sleep and your tolerance level was higher you'd be like no man I don't want any part of that right all right number four exercise 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 you'd be like Miss Lisa do I have to join this really expensive gym I can't afford that um, I can't afford a trainer I've never worked out before um, I don't know how to lift weights. I've never done that before. It doesn't take all that. Go to a park, go around your neighborhood, take 10 minutes a day. The studies show that 10 minutes a day of exercise will really improve your mood. All right, when you exercise, your body secretes these endorphins and it's kind of like a natural high. The other thing exercise does, it reduces stress. So you're really, and I can attest to this, I exercise on a regular basis because I don't like feeling stressed, all right? Number five, talking about stress again, reducing your stress. How can you do that? One of the ways you can do that is meditation. A lot of people are like, what is meditation? That's so weird. Um, all it is is take five minutes for yourself. Go sit down in your room or in a nice quiet spot. Close your eyes. Take some really deep belly breaths. Hold them and blow them out. Do that for a few minutes. I can guarantee you're going to feel a difference. That's a great way to reduce stress. And last but not least, number six is being mindful. That's another one sometimes is kind of hard to understand. It took me a while to like figure it out, but being mindful means thinking only in the present. Where are you now? What are you experiencing? What are you feeling? Don't let the future get in it and the worrisome of that or the past where we're beating ourselves up strictly stay right here in the present and believe it or not 
It's not easy to do, but that will really help in your self-care. All right, one more thing I'm gonna share with you is there's an acronym that they use um, in treatment centers called HALT. HALT. So what it is, is keeping yourself from being hungry with H, angry, lonely, and tired. HALT. Those are the things that are really dangerous and contribute to relapse. So from me to you guys, I hope you have a good rest of the week. See you in two weeks with another exciting video. Peace guys. Call me if you need me.